Diana received a shipment of shirts at her clothing store. She sold one-fifth of the shipment on Monday and three-twelfths on Tuesday. What fraction of the shipment did Diana sell on Monday and Tuesday combined? She sold two-fifteenths of the shipment on Wednesday. How does that compare to what she sold on Tuesday? For problem one, we need to add these two fractions together, which means that we need a lowest common denominator. So first, we calculate the LCD. So 5 is a prime factor, so it's, it's already done. 12 can be broken down into 2 squared times 3. Therefore, we multiply 5 times 2 squared times 3, and we get 60. So we're going to convert both of these fractions to have 60 in the denominator. In order to convert 1 fifth into something over 60, we do need to multiply that 5 by 12 which means we're also going to multiply the numerator by 12. So we get 12 over 60. Here, we need to multiply this 12 by 5 to get it to be 60. So therefore, we're also going to multiply the numerator by 5, and that's how we get 15. 12 plus 15 is 27. We leave the denominator as is, and that can actually be reduced to 9 twentieths. All right, so for this one, we want to be we want to compare 2 fifteenths with 3 twelfths, which means we need them to have the same denominator. Therefore, once again, we calculate the lowest common denominator between 12 and 15. Here you see that it is also 60. Now, we've already converted 3 twelfths to be out of 60. Remember, 3 twelfths was 15 over 60. So now we just need to convert 2 fifteenths into something over 60. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by 4, because 15 times 4 is 60, 2 times 4 is 8. So Diana sold 7 out of 60 more on Tuesday than on Wednesday, because we just take that 15, subtract the 8, we get 7.